This is my old laptop. I've used it for the past 10 years and all the videos I've created up until now have been done using this particular laptop, but it's getting excruciatingly slow. It's time to upgrade to something more powerful, the GL73 with a few customizations. Let's take a look. Well, my new laptop has finally arrived. Let's take a quick look at some of the specifications on it. It is an MSI laptop. It has, uh, let's see, four, a four terabyte SSD drive, 32 gigs of RAM with Windows 10 Pro. Uh, it's a 17.3 inch display. It's got a uh, GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. It was manufactured by Michael Electronics 2, actually, uh, that's the brand name uh, according to this Amazon document, but actually what they did is they took the MSI uh, laptop and upgraded it, put the SSD card in, the additional RAM and all that kind of stuff. So they did some customization. Uh, it also has Windows 10 Pro, so we are going to check this bad boy out. What will be fun is actually editing this video directly on this new laptop. So hopefully everything looks good when I power it up. Really hoping this laptop kicks butt. I think it will. The specs all seem exceptional. But you just never know sometimes to try it out. So that's what we're going to do. Customer support warranty information. We're here to help. Should you have any questions? And let's see here. We've got a quick start guide. You really need to look at this. It's not like I haven't used Windows for the last 20, 30 years. All right, we'll set that off to the side. There's the power adapter. Now this Michael Electronics, uh, well, basically they've already opened up this laptop and did all the upgrades themselves. So um, looks like it's missing power thing here. Hopefully it's here somewhere. And there it is. Whew. I was almost worried. I probably have another one somewhere, but there's the other end for it. All right, so that's all that's in this box. All right, so let's take a look at the laptop. I like the little static bag here that it's sitting in. That's nice. Oh, and I have it upside down. Wow. wow. It's actually pretty light right there. There's a little sticker thing. Oh, it looks like a little cover. That's nice. Wow. Alright, I'm going to turn the laptop on. Hopefully it's got enough juice. Turn the light off. Alright, well I'm sure you don't want to watch me set up windows, so I'm going to go ahead and set this machine up and then we'll get back to it and take a look at the uh, performance. Okay, so now let's take a look at application performance. Now keep in mind this laptop was upgraded with a four terabyte SSD drive, so it's going to be much faster than a typical hard drive. But let's go ahead and take a look anyway. We'll go to the 
Firefox web browser. I'm going to double click right now. That was pretty quick. Now I don't have any caching turned on, so we're going to go to Wagner's Tech Talk com our favorite website now I'm gonna zoom back out so you can see the whole screen get reloaded uh, when I hit enter and I'm going to hit enter right now it rendered very fast I'm gonna close the browser and I'm gonna launch went word 2016 one two three double click very fast. Now I'm going to load this. One, two, three. <laughs> Near instantaneous response time. I'm going to close. Closing took a little bit longer. At least with Word and none of the others so far. Okay, now I'm going to use Moi 3D, which is a 3D modeling application. And I'm going to double click. One, two, three near instant. While we're here we'll go ahead and draw a sphere, draw a box, move things around, put it in full 3D view. Response time is excellent. All right, now I'm going to close out. It's going to say discard one, two, three, and it's gone. So hopefully that'll give you an idea of the type of performance you'll get while launching applications. Let's go ahead and test the CPU here. Here is my old laptop, and up here is a 12 core Xeon CPU. And we're going to go ahead and run a CPU test. Now, as you can see, there are several boxes here. There's a maximum of 12 on the screen at any given time. Each of those squares represents a single thread of execution. This is a six core CPU. Therefore, we have two threads running on each core. So we have a total of 12 at any given time. All right, it's just about done. Let's take a look at the results. Wow, look at that. It ranked number two up here right next to the Xeon processor with 12 cores. That's very impressive. I mean, there's very little difference between the two at all. Hmm. All right, let's switch over to a graphics test. Let's go to OpenGL. Here's my old laptop. Number seven, just for reference. And this particular laptop has uh, up here that we're going to compare it to has four cores. Let's go ahead and run the OpenGL test. All right. Now what the OpenGL test is going to do is basically exercise the 1050 Ti graphics card that's in here as well as the CPU and give us a pretty good estimate on how well this laptop performs against similar machines. And in the case of my old laptop, not so similar. I'm seeing absolutely no lag. This looks great. We're almost to the end of the benchmark. All right, let's take a look at the results. Wow, look at that. Right there at the top of the list at 102.8 frames per second. Very impressive.
Let's take a look at the gaming performance. In our settings for Quake Champions, we have the display mode set to full screen, 16x9, 1920x1080. We've got all the quality settings to the Ultra setting. And then up here we have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti with, again, the Ultra settings. And in the details, post-processing and anti-aliasing, all in the Ultra. Okay, so I haven't been able to play games like this in quite a number of years, so Three, two, I'm not very good at one. it. Fight. Well, let's give it a try anyway. Oops. Sometimes the world doesn't need enough. Well, like I said, I'm not too good. In the upper left-hand corner, you'll see the frame rate. Right now it's around 96. Moves around a little bit. Stays consistently above 60 frames per second. From what I'm seeing so far, anyway. Alright, I gotta get a kill here. This is embarrassing. Yes! Finally got it. <laughs> oh, it's fun playing this game. Seventh place. Uh, like I said, not so good. But this should give you a good idea of how well this laptop performs in an actual gaming environment. I hope this video was as fun for you as it was for me to record it. I mean, literally, it was wonderful. <laughs> I'm so used to having to spend, you know, a day working on a video in order to get it edited, rendered, and uploaded to YouTube. It would literally take six to ten hours easily, depending on the length of the video. So it was so much nicer to use this laptop. Uh, I'll leave links in the description below that will have this exact configuration, as well as other options that are a little more cost-effective. You pick the one that uh, meets your needs best for you. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon.